everyone, I'm LC Gamer, and welcome to I, or AI, the Somnium Files. This game is a murder mystery uh, game, which is, I think, done by the same people that uh, made the Zero, the Zero Escape series. The only reason I'm saying that is because I think there's some advertisements in this game for the Zero Escape Triple Nine. Bring this uh, English subtitle subtitles. Text no. Okay, so I don't have to worry about subtitles. All right. Everything looks okay. Uh, let's jump into the game and see what happens. Language. English. Yes. Cannot be switched or can be switched. I wasn't paying any attention. Auto save, blah, blah, blah. Okay, gotcha. This game has the word fiction. Names, characters, places, and incidents either are products of the author's imagination and so on. What is that? Is that a big top? I'm hearing circus music. It's creeping me out. Not all... Circus music like this doesn't always creep me out, but... sometimes. Where are we? Why is this person strapped to a, uh... Oh, you're bloody. Are you dead? Murder investigation? Warning. Not suitable for small children to watch. Okay. That was a little jarring. Day one, Friday. Siga? Saiga. Alright. Bloom Park. This place is interesting. Investigation. During investigations, the main character inspects scenes and collects testimony, progress by examining objects and talk to people. Position is fixed, but you can move the cursor in your view. Oh, okay. Try looking around and moving the cursor to find something that catches your eye and inspect it. Bench. 
And investigate. It's a bench. It's a panda rug. Looks lonely. Parasol is getting pelted by the rain. Bench. A horse from the merry-go-round. Yeah. It looks like it's skewered. Does it? Well, they all do. This is not a message from the criminal. The park was already in this state before the crime. My best hypothesis is that this is the result of a teenage prank. Uh huh. The rain, this rain is depressing? Yeah, I thought rain was always kind of comforting. Has it been like this all day? Well, maybe, I don't know. Control room, blah blah blah. This place where the operator sits to turn the right on and off. Took a look inside, but didn't see anything that might be a clue. Let's take a look at everything. In particular, what do we have on this side? Red barrier line wraps around the scene. In the old days, they used to use yellow caution tape for this. Hmm. We got cheap hologram technology that can do the job even better. Wait, does that mean it can't keep people out at all? Well, sometimes we use good old-fashioned yellow tape. Secure your horses. The boss. When you speak to a person, you will be presented with choices. And look. Alright. Use the choices to select the topic of conversation. Look will allow you to observe the person you are speaking to. Call her boss. She runs ABIS, a special branch of the Metropolitan Police Department. I report directly to her. Inspector. Inspector from Metro. I hope he finds a lead. Local cop. Local cop. There's a fence set up around the merry-go-round. Probably to prevent nosy kids from getting caught in the m machinery. Yeah, that, that that would help. Main column holding up the roof. Horse. Corpse. The body is mounted on one of the horses. I should get a better look. Take a step forward. Ah, sorry, sir. Could you please not get any closer? Sure. <laughs> we haven't taken any footprints yet. I appreciate your understanding. Allow me to assist you. Thank you. That's... Iba. Neva? Uh, Neva. Her official designation is... AI Ball. Eyeball. <laughs> She's an artificial intelligence built into my fake eye. Wait, you have a fake eye? I would like to know more about my the main character than an AI for an eye. <laughs> you want me to use the zoom, right? Correct. That will allow you to investigate without physically disturbing the scene. Nice. While playing through the story, 
Ava's special vision modes may help you obtain new information. You can now use the zoom mode to enlarge the target. Select zoom and examine the corpse. You can also view the controls. Oh, okay. But for now, let's talk to the boss. Not yet. We just found the victim. Okay. Too early to say anything for sure. But this could be a copycat killer at work. Alright. From the case six years ago. The case six years ago? What case? For whatever reason, she didn't elaborate. Case six years ago. Um, this rain is awful. It's unusual for this time of year. It'll be hard to find any usable prints. Maybe, maybe not. So, what are we doing? Are you serious? No. And yes. Your special agent, Kaname Date. You're a member of Abyss, and that means you answer to me. Abyss. Oh. See? I got it. I pronounced it wrong. Thank you for correcting me. I called you here to inspect the scene, Date. Sure, boss. But inspecting dead bodies isn't usually part of the job. Usually, no. But tonight it is. Because you know this woman, don't you, Date? I had to tell you. You deserve to know. Wait, I know her? Metro got a call about two hours ago. Someone heard screaming coming from the park. So who found her? Beat cop responded, checked out the scene. And found the corpse. Yeah. Thing is, the caller was anonymous. I'll give you the details later. Alright. After finishing discussion, discussing a topic with someone, they might have a new thing to talk about. When talking to people, choose topics that interest you. You might obtain important information. Cool. And if I want to look back over the information I was given, or we talked about, look through the log. Her name's Nadami Shoko. You knew her, right? Did I? What was the relationship like? I heard you two have been close for years. As, I don't know, could have been friends. Could wouldn't more. say that. We were just acquaintances. Not too good, unfortunately. We're not finding much. So no leads, gotcha. And you? What's your name? Wow, I, I never thought a great detective like you would ask me my name. It's Kagami, sir. Okay. Not yet, sir. One sentence answers, huh? Thanks for coming out here. It's my duty, sir. But thank you. Alright. Corpse. Zoom. The left, left eye. eye socket is vacant. Victim has had her left eyeball removed. Ooh. Her left eye. The most likely scenario is that the killer or killers removed it. Obviously. Well, we don't know that for sure. A crow or some other animal could have pulled it off the corpse. Impossible. Why? The amount of blood indicates that the victim's eye was removed before her death. Oh. They carved it out while she was still alive. Ouch. Correct. Pupil dilation and corneal turbidity indicate the victim is dead. Obviously. I am detecting signs of increased stress in your body. Cortisol and ACTH concentration is rising. Don't bug me with jargon right now, all right? I'm just upset. Uh, 
Let's take a look at the body. Multiple puncture wounds to the front of the torso. Cause of death, blood loss from these wounds. Body temperature and rigor mortis indicate the time of death was approximately six hours ago. Okay. That would place the crime occurring around 5 p.m. So, roughly. Several puncture wounds, but no cuts, tears. That means the victim was probably stabbed with something pointed and smooth, like an ice pick. An ice pick. Yeah. That could be it, considering there's no laceration, so it's not a knife. What was that? What was that? Analyzing the source of the sound. Sonic analysis indicates the sound originated from inside the merry-go-round central column. Okay. Inside the column? At least came from Date, inside here. Use me to see through the column. All right. First, you gotta tell me how. Utilize the X-ray mode. X-ray. We have a witness. <gasps> oh no! It appears as though someone is inside. Threw down my umbrella and ran to the pillar. Hey, wait! Shut up! Pushed him aside and ran up on the platform. Hey, I know you're in there. If you can hear me, say something. No reply. Looking closely, I found a small handle on the column. I grabbed it hard and tried to pull it open. It won't budge. It may be locked from the inside. Damn it. Hey, whoever's in there, stay back! Nice gun. Izuki. from a normal revolver to a... whatever it is. Are we in your subconscious now? Hello? Ah, oh, thank you. What is this place? This is your dream. Okay. I'm... me. Correct. You are Date. And you are? Start with this. I can answer all of your queries. All right, then. Who are you? Exactly what I want to know. I'm me, of course. Well, we know that. You are you, but what's your name? I know that voice. Iba? Indeed. Why do you look like a fluorescent shrimp? What are you talking about? I, I must look so cute that you've lost your mind. No, you... You're glowing. Under normal circumstances, I would lecture you about your awful taste, but... 
What are you doing in my dream? You called me. No, I didn't. You should have started dancing. My consciousness and your own are linked. This is why I appear in your dreams. Consider me an alter ego. Uh -huh. But I shouldn't waste time explaining further. You will have forgotten this by the time you wake up. You sure? I will discuss this with you soon, when you're awake. I'm trying to sort out my situation. But my brain isn't cooperating. Must be... It must be because I'm sleeping right now. So things that I should know, I can't remember. My head is a little fuzzy. I'm not my usual self. It's like I'm inside someone else's head. What a strange feeling. Putting that aside, do you recognize this room? Not really, no. No, not at all. I suppose that's fine. Let us begin. Begin what? Somnium scan! Activate! Somnium scan? Hmm. Got it. Got what? Yeah. Why does it feel like I'm inside uh, one of the Sunnet Hill games right now because of the chain door? I have completed a scan of your Somnium, your dream world. My simulations have encountered several mental locks. Okay. Mental locks? Have you already forgotten? Yes, because this is the first time I've ever... I'm hearing about it. Even your critical thinking abilities have dulled. Huh? In short, Somnium is a world built from the deepest recesses of your consciousness. This world is divided into several layers. Each layer stands upon a foundation, a base component. Okay. Think of these foundations as mental blocks, or simply locks for convenience. Thank you. Mental locks must be broken before we can proceed deeper into consciousness. Is there a workaround? Do I have to break them? The truth is always hidden within the deepest layers. Therefore, we must... Um... Remove the mental locks? Obviously. Correct. So I just need to turn on all the lights and open the door? Shouldn't be too hard. Don't be so sure. Appearances in this world can be deceiving. Mm-hmm. Let's start with the door. Please direct me to the door and give me instructions. Sure. I see. So I can do whatever I want with you in this world. Oh, don't get that... Get that grin off your face. Well, I suppose that is true, but... Alright, let's do this. Wake... Date up. Okay. Mission one. Sinking in the brain. Insomnia. You explore a dream to discover the subject's hidden memories. Unlocking the mental locks will allow you to travel deeper into the dream. Unlocking all of them will reveal important information. Oh, turn to the right. First move closer to the door and investigate. Alright. Can I take a look at the ceiling? Alright. So nothing on the ceiling. These camera controls are a little... A bit, uh... And that's probably my fault with the settings. A door locked with a padlock. Alright. Padlock. Gotta find the key. Investigate things you can choose from a number of options to give Ava instructions. For now, have Ava investigate the door. Investigate. It appears all I have to do is open this door. It's locked and chained. Hmm. I can't touch it. That is to be expected. Dreams are not bound by logic. Obviously. 
This is Date's Somnium, a reality built by dreams. My Somnium? I see. Your mental faculties must be hazy because your body is currently sleeping. I suppose I will have to explain. No. Can we speed this up just a tiny bit? I'd rather you not disturb my precious sleep. Shut up and listen! What's that? Date, look at that. The places where the light touches have become colored. Okay. Perhaps those parts are now tangible. Every human mind is unique. Every human dream has its own set of rules. Uh-huh. Makes sense. I see. If you understand these rules, the dream world itself becomes malleable. Right. Who was that? I don't know. You must know. This is your dream. It is created from your memories. I don't know enough about my character to even help with this. I don't know what to tell you. I have no idea who that was. You may remember upon reflection. I need to give you commands that will unlock the mental locks, right? Indeed. But it is difficult to predict exactly how an object will behave in Somnium. Think outside the box. Trying different actions will help solve the problem. Okay. Now, what should I have you do? Don't forget that I have a veto. A veto? In the Somnium world, you are able to investigate objects that have a floating name. A new object has appeared. Alright. Switch. There are thorns on the switch. Touch switch. You realize I stand here as part of your own existence. Yes. Hit the switch. Your consciousness and mine are linked. You feel pain, I feel pain. What's the big deal? Hurry up and turn on the switch. The switch covered in thorns? Yes, hurry. Uh, sorry. I don't actually feel any pain. You... I really am sorry. You were able to touch it. Correct. So, I just need to keep this up? Something like that. Hmm, I would say pull them, but that would just be as painful. A winter iris. Winter iris, huh? What? Looks interesting. Do you not recognize it? This is an iris that blooms in winter. A flower with a woman's name. Smell. Hmm. Hey, I didn't know you could smell. I can't. I'm pantomiming. Oh, thank you. Isn't it easier to visualize this way? Sure. Whatever. Not enough. Enough. Harder. You gotta smell it harder. Oh no. I was gonna say, not enough. Pick up the plant, see if there's anything under it. What? Uh, okay. <laughs> Amazing suction. Bravo. Marvelous. What are you experiencing so regularly to cause this to happen in your dreams? I think he just thought it was going to be funny. You can check your progress on the left side of the screen. Your actions just now advance your progress to reach the end to clear the dream. Okay, thank you. And... That was just funny. A switch. The thorns are gone. Turn the switch on. Now I can activate the switch. Hmm. We have a bit more light now. Can we keep flickering in and out of this reality. Isn't this rewarding, Date? Another place you can touch. 
I would rather be sleeping. Same here. Checkpoint! Yay! Lock one. Undone. Alright. Can I probably turn off these tutorials in a second if they keep popping up like this? Uh, yes, I know there's another mental lock. I can see it. Now, if you excuse me... Oh, I can take a look at these through the menu, thank you. Okay, what do they have over here? Wine. A glass of wine. Smell. Biscuit. Have a sip. A luxurious red wine, popular on the market today. However, this appears to be a much brighter red than a typical bottle. Maybe it's a full-bodied red from Borgonia. Maybe. I wonder if that trivia will ever prove useful. Better to be prepared. A glass of now, wine. Now, have a sip. Leave it to me. You probably can't taste anything anyway. Hey! I didn't mean from the bottle. It was a glass. Ah. <laughs> I feel kind of good. Why is an AI getting drunk? <laughs> Why do I have to listen to Date diss me all the time? <laughs> oh, she's annoying when she's drunk. Someone else can come take her. Okay. Basket. A basket. I cannot see inside it. Oh, pull it out. Where? <laughs> Let's just search the basket. A model of a UFO. A stuffed chupacabra? And a one dollar bill. Occult stuff, maybe? Maybe. Does the occult interest you, Date? The truth is out there. It is a trending topic. Anyone could have encountered items such as these. True. Somebody's into the occult. Yeah. This is somewhat different than a cult. A floor lamp shaped like a rose. Um. Lift? <sighs> it won't move. Hmm. Must mean I don't flinch. I hold my ground like a mountain. I interpret it more as your irritating personality spreading like pollen in the wind. No thanks. The tears won't stop. Must be You're just sleepy. Must be allergies. A lamp. It Let's just turn it off. But how? I cannot find a switch or a plug. Even in my dream, I don't get what I want. In fairness, this is your memory. But this is not your house. It's somebody else's house. Somebody from my memory. But I have no idea. It could be anyone. Not necessarily. Dreams do contain an element of randomness, but oftentimes they draw together individuals with strong personal connections. Uh huh. Dreams are constructed similarly to how information is transmitted through the brain. So, what do you take away from all this? Don't turn off the light. I want to see this. That was kind of dirty. Shut up. A lamp. Kick the lamp. Why did his head shake? You don't have to kick it so hard. Give it everything you've got. That's my motto. Uh, it didn't even budge. I saw the skeleton's skull move slightly. Hey, Date, are we gonna get him too? Huh? What are you, a thug? Apparently. A skeleton? It appears to be bleeding from the left eye. Investigate. There are traces of blood around the left eye socket. Even though it's just bone? Yeah. The skeleton is clinging to some small bit of life. I hope my bones die and stay dead. Like they should. Wow. A skeleton. Talk to it. To the skeleton? Yes. You just want someone to talk to, huh? True. Hello. My name is Iba. 
What is your name? How are you? I am currently 92% charged and feeling well. I said talk to it because it's a dream. It might talk back. Hey, don't ignore me. Stupid bony man. Your mother is a stupid bony girl. Bony, bony, bony. Ah. Are you finished? You could have come up with better insults than that. My disappointment is immeasurable. A skeleton. Know this, skeleton. I harbor no grudges against you. You did a second ago. Hi yeah! What? Liba, look! The wall! Okay. Did I destroy part of the building? I did something wrong. Do you have an irrepressible urge for destruction you've been holding back all this time? No. Even if I did, adults have to learn moderation, you know. Who is he? Are you sure you don't know? As far as I can tell. I don't know. He looks like some old man. You could describe him a little more generously. Boss is sleep talking. Hmm. An item. Okay. There's always one somewhere. No more. I can. Uh, right. Is an item found? What? Alright. A gun came out of the skull? It's a key. It won't go off? Pretty sure. It should be fine. Maybe it... I don't know. Look at this hot magnum. I could ventilate some crooks with this thing. Don't get excited. Remind you of anyone? No. No. Alright. Or room. Uh. A door locked with a padlock. Yes. But gun to keyhole. Do you think something this size would fit? It's a key. Do it. it. Might fit if you work it in a little. Try just the tip. I suppose. There, see? I see. The gun was the key. Well, well, well. Seems I was key in helping this escape. Okay, that's it. This dream is over. I suppose this dream is over. Guess I'll wake up now. Good. I'll open it. And you can stay in there. I'll go investigate something else now. Never mind. Looks like I have to investigate this. Oh, that's bright. Yes, I'm awake now. And my head hurts. Ow. Oh. 
Okay. I think I'll leave it here for now, and we'll pick this up at the police headquarters. So until then, see you guys. Thank <laughs> you.